and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well today and yeah it's a beautiful day. It's still cold but it's nice and sunny and there's blue sky so yeah we're starting to get into spring and I cannot wait. So if you're new here I'm Jo. I do craft videos as well as Poundland hauls, charity shop finds and any other bits and bobs that I like to share with you guys and if you're returning thank you for your continued support. It means the world to me. So yeah Poundland haul. I've got two things from B&M's. So sit back enjoy grab a drink and we'll get into it i will say before i start though i just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who watched my last craft project which was my easter trees and here is one of them i made two and yeah i absolutely love making these and you guys seem to really enjoy them as well and i'm looking forward to next year to finishing off the display that i want to do and these are going to sit either side of it so yeah i'm really happy with how these turned out and thank you for watching so Poundland, I've got a few bits. Let's start off with some food stuff first and I've got a few bits and I've not eaten any of this. I've been waiting to be able to show you so it means I can tuck in them to them in a little while. The first thing I picked up and I have to share these, I got some of these at Christmas and I have to say that this is the nicest fudge that I've ever had. This is the signature range and this is the sea salt caramel and yeah this is so nice if you've not tried this before i would highly recommend it if you can get hold of it they had it at christmas i got a box and i tried it and i absolutely loved it and i couldn't get it again and then when i was in there the other day i saw that they had one box of the salted caramel left and they also had one box of the strawberries and cream now i've not tried this one so i don't know how nice this one is but this is absolutely amazing so if you can manage to get hold of these i would highly recommend trying them they are really really nice and i'm so glad that i managed to get a box of the sea salt and then i can try the strawberries and cream as well one of the things I always pick up when I, go in, when I go in Poundland, and I've never showed these before because they're never around long enough for me to show them in a haul, um, is the Fox's Crunch um, White Chocolate Cookies, and I love these. These are only 75p, and I've looked for these in Asda, and I can't get them. The only place that I can seem to find them is Poundland, and every time I go in, I always get a, like, I always get a packet, and like I said, I haven't shown them before because they're never around long enough, and... Yeah, I've been really good. I haven't eaten these yet and I'm going to have these once I've finished filming with a cup of tea. And yeah, I absolutely love these. I'm not too sure if they just do a normal chocolate one as well. I can't remember if I've ever seen them in Poundland, but the white chocolate ones are really nice. And yes, I eat the whole packet when I open them. I can't help myself. I'm not one of these people that can go in the kitchen, take two biscuits out, put it on a saucer and then just eat two biscuits. I have to eat the, the, the old pack. So yeah, I know it's not good and it's a bit naughty but it's my treat so yeah i'm gonna have these with a cup of tea once i've finished i've also got this and i bought some of this a week ago and i ate some and yeah i uh i went and got another pack this pack is absolutely huge this is the toffee popcorn the sweet popcorn they do it in salt as well so if you like salt popcorn instead of sweet popcorn then they do that this is a pound and this is 300 grams it's absolutely huge and yeah i've bought two packs of this in the past again i've never shown them because i always eat them before i do my video but i have to say i can't eat all this i normally get to about down to here and then i can't eat anymore so yeah i normally get the popcorn that you pop in the microwave from b&m's it's only 29p and the last time I got it, it wasn't that nice. I don't know if they've changed the recipe in it or whatever, but it wasn't good at all. So I'm going to stop buying that and I'm going to start buying this in Poundland. And like I said, really, you're not supposed to eat all of it yourself, but I do give it a good go when I'm watching TV. And yeah, it's definitely a big bag. <laughs> I also got some of these. I've never tried these before and I absolutely love peanut butter and these are the Reese's White Cream Eggs and these are 50p. You get two eggs and I think they're just shaped as eggs instead of the circular Reese's peanut ones that you normally get. So I got two and again, I'm going to have these with a cup of tea. Not today because I'm going to have the biscuits today. I might have one of these tomorrow, but yeah, I thought I would give them a go. I've only ever had the brown chocolate Reese's before. I've never tried the white ones. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what these are like and if they're any better than the original normal cup ones that you get from Asda. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. 
a few bits from the kitchen section which is not very interesting but i sure thought i'd show you anyway i just picked up two of the 32 centimeter oven trays i needed two more um i completely wrecked my other one the other day i don't know what i did with it but yeah i needed some so i grabbed another two of these and these are a pound and then I also needed some tubs that I could stick in the microwave. So I picked up one of the Store Fresh free pack. And these are non-toxic plastic, dishwater safe, freezer safe and microwave safe. And that's what I wanted them for from the microwave. So yeah, I just picked up a box of them. I then picked up some stuff from the stationery section and I needed some pens. I bought a pen a couple of months ago from AliExpress and it's like a wooden pen, pen. it's an ink pen and it is really nice and I wanted one, I wanted a fancy pen. Um, but it's not the kind of thing that you can do a lot of writing with. It's great for just putting a few things in a diary, but if you want to write a lot, I can't write with it that much. And when I did my book review, which was my last video, I had pages and pages of notes that I had to write out and I had to put it down. And could I find a pen anywhere? I managed to do it in a pencil in the end. So I picked up some pens and these are just the ballpoint pens in a pack of three. You get a gold, a blue and a rose gold and they're just handy to have around the house. And then I also picked up some pads. These are the journals and I picked one up in a blue and a grey. And I'm not too sure, the, the A5 size, I'm not too sure how many sheets you get in them. But they just come like this and they are lined. And then they've just got the little make of the paper on the bottom as well. And I just wanted a couple of extra books. One I'm going to keep at the side of the bed. So when I'm reading my books and I need to make some notes for when I do my book review, then I'm going to use this one. And then the other one's just for general noting things down that I want to um, remember and stuff that I want to do. So yeah, I picked up them two and then I got the pens to go with it. So yeah, I'm all set now for pads and pens and I really don't need to buy any more you know I always buy pads and I use the first couple of pages and then I think that I've ruined them and then I have to buy a new one so yeah I picked up another two and the pens I got some stuff from the makeup section and the first thing I picked up was the makeup gallery eyebrow pencil and this is the the very dark brown I've always used, I have black eyebrows, um, I have, um, yeah, my hair, even though my hair's brown, my eyebrows are really, really dark and I've always used black very lightly, I don't like to put too much on. So I thought I would actually give a dark brown a go and see if it matches and what it looks like. So I just wanted to pick up a cheap one because I might not end up using it again. So I just got one of the Poundland ones and see how that goes. And then I also picked up a nail varnish. Yes, I got another nail varnish. I'm so sorry that I always show nail varnishes. I can't help myself, but this is a very, very pale blue and I just thought this would be fantastic for spring and summer. So yeah, I got that and I thought I would give that a go. I'm not too sure what the, oh, it's um, by Maybelline actually. I didn't know it's Maybelline and the color is Fairy Spell and yeah i'll give that a go over summer and see what it's like and then i got these these are really cute i've not seen these before these are in the makeup section and these are the makeup accessories beauty spot toe separators and you get four in a pack so i picked up two packs one for each foot and these are of like a little sunflower and these are just to separate your toes as you're painting them and i just thought they were really sweet i very rarely paint my toenails um just because i never show my toes to anyone so yeah i very rarely paint my toenails but i'm gonna try this year to wear more dresses summer dresses and sandals so i thought it would be nice to paint them more often and yeah i just thought these were really sweet obviously you have four to go in between your toes you don't need five and you could just use one pack on both feet do one let them dry and then do the other but i'm too impatient for that <laughs> if i'm doing my, if i'm doing my nails i have to do them both at the same time and let them dry at the same time so i got the two packs they did have they had some blue ones but i can't remember what the blue ones they were bunnies i think they were bunnies they had little blue bunnies instead or they had these sunflower ones and yeah i went for the sunflower ones in the end 
I got something out of the sewing section and this is the 12 bobbins and they're 22 meters each and this is the dark mix thread pack and it comes like this and I needed some dark brown for my doll that I'm making so yeah I just picked this up and these colors will come in handy for future things I normally just use black and white but because I am doing some brown on my doll which is steampunk so steampunk means brown leather that kind of thing and yeah I needed some dark brown so that's why I picked this up and this will last forever this I never in any way will I ever get through every single one of these and use it all up so for a pound I think it's really worth it so yeah 12 bobbins of mixed colour sewing threads in 22 meter lengths so yeah so I got quite a few books they seem to have rotated the books quite a lot in my Poundland store so there were a lot of new ones that I hadn't seen so yeah I got I grabbed quite a few I'm not going to go into them too much I'll save that for when I do my book reviews once I've read them but I will show you them and tell you who they're by and what they're called and yeah like I said I'll go into them more when I do my book reviews so the first one that I picked up was by Helen Lederer and this is called Losing It. It looks like it might actually be quite funny this one so yeah it will be one that I read at some point quite soon. I then got another book called The Memory of Midnight and this is by Pamela Hatch Hartshorn. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hartshorn. So yeah, I'm going to pick this up again at some point soon and I'm not going to read these in any particular order. I'll just pick up what I want to read as and when I finish my next book. This I started reading last night. I've only read the first couple of chapters and this is Talking Hollywood by Sherry King. And this looks like it's going to be about all the glamorous scandal and lifestyles behind the actors and actresses of Hollywood. And the three at the moment there's three actresses um actors there's two actors and one actress that they seem to be following and i don't think they're real people but everybody else that they mention in it are actual real people so it's going to be quite interesting this one i picked up fire season by philip connors i also picked up before we met by lucy whitehouse this one is called Tigers in Red Weather and I believe it's Lisa Kelsman. I'm not too sure how you pronounce that. So yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Then I picked up this one called Infidelity and this is Tara pa Pamela Tomkinson. I also grabbed this one called The Stylist by Rose Nixon and then the last one that i picked up and i'm surprised i picked this up myself i picked this up which is seduction by velvet and this is the i think it's the second one in the four series yeah it's the second one so this is the second and four i did the first one as a book review <laughs> in, in my latest video and i said that i probably wasn't going to read the rest of these books because i didn't enjoy it but i have the other two the last the third and fourth one and now i have the second one as well so yeah um I'm not going to lie, I'm not looking forward to reading it, but I will read it just to see how the story ends. And yeah, now I've got all four. So that was the last one that I picked up. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I bought nine books. So yeah, that's going to keep me going for a little while. And once the charity shops open on Monday, I'll probably end up buying some more as well. So I'll probably read most of that for the next book review, which will be at the beginning of may or the end of april so that's going to be my book list to get through then i've got two things left from poundland and i'm so happy that i managed to pick these up i saw these last no i didn't see them last year they didn't have them in last year i saw them the year before and i was going to buy some but at the time that i saw them I didn't have an idea what I could use them for and then I came up with an idea went back to see if I could get some and they didn't have any left and then they didn't have any in last year so I was just like well if they come in this year in the garden section I will pick them up so I got two of the willow roll edging and this is one meters worth and I got two of them one I'm going to keep 
together like so and I'm going to use it for a project I think round about autumn that's when I'm planning to do it so or Christmas I'm not 100% sure so I needed one roll and then I bought another roll just in case I wanted to take it apart and use bits of it in some of my crafts for future projects so I now have the two and these are going to last me quite a while so yeah I'm glad that I managed to pick up two of these and I went in, I got these pretty quickly after I went, um, did my last Poundland haul and when I went in a few days ago they didn't have any left so I'm glad that I managed to get them when I did. And then the last thing I got, I got two of them and I absolutely love these. These were £3 each and in the garden section. I'm not going to use them until Halloween because I think they'll be perfect for Halloween. But yeah, they're not very heavy. I think they're made out of resin. I don't know if it says what they're made out of. The only thing it says on it is that it's a decoration, not a toy. So yeah, I think they're resin and they look made to look like stone i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna spray paint them or not or do something with them i don't know i don't know yet i haven't decided but yeah i got two and this is the first one and all oh, these are gonna look fabulous for halloween i was gonna make my own using clay and i might do some smaller ones in clay um to go around my display but yeah i got this one which he is sat with his paws i suppose the paws over his knees and then i got this one where he is sat more upright and his wings are out and yeah i think these are absolutely amazing and i cannot wait to keep these for halloween and bring them out every single year and i'm gonna make some columns for them to sit on and decorate them all for halloween so i'm like i said not too sure if i'm gonna spray paint them i kind of like the stone effect and I think they'll stand out a bit more, but I wanted to make them more gothic, so I might add moss. Hmm, I might leave them like this and add moss, or I might paint them black and do some dry brushing in silver. I'm not 100% sure yet. Let me know what you think. Let me know which you think would look better. Spray painted black with silver to bring out all the detail, dry brushing, or leave them as they are and add moss and some leaves and twigs and make them look really old and like they've been weathered. And yeah, let me know which one you prefer. So that was everything from Poundland. And like I said, I've got two things from B&M. So they're not very exciting, I have to confess. The first thing I picked up was for £3. And it's the Cosmopolitan smartphone ring. And this is just to go on the back of my phone. When I was filming my... Um, what film? What was I filming? My... When I went to the park and I did a vlog, um, I was filming that and I dropped my phone and I'm so lucky that I didn't smash it. So I'm hoping that this will make it a little bit easier to film. And yeah, it's four millimetres in size and it's got a three millimetre glue stick, which is obviously on the back. And then you just attach it to the back of your phone, put your finger through it so that you've got more of a better grip of your phone. And then the last thing I got, which was on that day that I went to the park and I popped in Poundland at B&M, then I went to B&Q, I picked up one of the picnic blankets and this is the water resistant backing, it folds away and then obviously you have the handle to carry it as well and I paid £5 for this. And this is for the park, so I've... A lot of you know, obviously with my health conditions, I don't go out very often and it's only recently that I've been starting to go out a little bit more and enjoying being outside. Obviously with the whole thing that's happened over the last year and a half, I've not been anywhere, but I'm hoping this year once we get back outside, I can spend some time sitting in the park. I don't have my own garden, so the only time I get to sit out is when I do go to the park and I just thought it'd be really nice to have something like this so I can sit in the park and read my book when it's nice. And just take a little bit of time to be outside in the fresh air so that's why i picked this up and that's everything that i got so a few bits quite a lot of books and a few bits that i needed and a few bits that i didn't and yeah i will be back on thursday no sorry i will be back on monday i'm not too sure what i'm doing for monday's video yet i'm part way through um a project that was supposed to be monday's video but unfortunately my mum's not doing too well at the moment and i think i'm gonna go and spend a couple of days looking after her 
I'm not 100% sure. So if I do go and spend a couple of days looking after my mum, I'm not going to be able to get a craft video up on Monday. So what I'll do instead is I've got another haul video that I can do. I've got a AliExpress haul. I bought a load of stuff off AliExpress and it all came last week. So I think I'm going to film that and then that'll go up on Monday and then my craft video will go up on Thursday instead. So I'll switch the two around. I normally like my craft videos to go up at the beginning of the week. But for this week, I think I'm going to have to swip, swap it around so I can go and see my mum and look after her. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I will see you on Monday. I'm not too sure which video it's going to be yet. It all depends how my mum's feeling today once I bring her after this. And yeah, we'll um, let you know what happens. So yeah, have a fantastic weekend. I will see you on Monday. So till then, take care. Have a good weekend. Love you guys loads and bye for now.